this is meant to be a dupe for the yeah, maybe that wasn't like the best idea in the world. The main event, Solf X Revolution Super Spice Palette. That's actually so nice. Hello, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. I am so excited that you've happened upon this video and if you like what you see, then please feel free to subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. So in today's video, I am doing another kind of beauty video and I'm going to be testing a lot of Revolution makeup. Now, I was planning on making an order with Revolution makeup. They had this little like range, the super dewy range, and I thought that looked really nice. So I was going to order and then I saw that one of the, my like favourite people that I watch on YouTube, Soph, her channel name is Soph Does Life, released a collaboration with them. And I have a few bits from her older collaborations and I really, really like them. That's kind of some of the only Revolution makeup that I have, but it seems like really, really good quality. It's so cheap, like really, really affordable. So I thought, why not just like combine the orders and get a bunch? So yeah, I am so excited for this video and if you enjoy it, please give me a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Can you see? Can you? Uh, there's a fly in here. Oh no, it's nice. Okay. So yeah, I got some kind of base products, got some eye stuff, got some lip stuff, a wee bit of everything. Basically a full face. £51 for everything, which is very, very good. There was a three for two offer on the website. I think it's on most of the time. I don't know. So I have already moisturised and put on my wee SPF. I just used the La Roche-Posay one. So the first thing I'm going to go in with is this tinted moisturiser. It is called Super Dewy Skin Tint Tinted Moisturiser. Now I think the like skin tints and all that are so popular right now. And I'd seen this one and it just really caught my fancy. So I will give it a try. This is £9. It's really big though. Now I am just going to like break into this palette really quickly to use the mirror because it's got a mirror so I might as well. Use it throughout the video. Ooh. That is very pretty. I'm not gonna get too excited because I want to use it, but this is the shade Medium Light. I hope it's not too dark for me. Okay, that's it with kind of like one coat on. That is what it says. It's just a wee skin tint. It says super dewy. 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 How does one say that word? It's not like crazy. Dewy. I'm going to put on a tad bit more and see if you can kind of build it up anymore. I cannot work this pump thing. It's like requires quite a lot of force. It feels like loads is going to come out. Still kind of. I thought there was a spider behind me, but it was the nail in the wall. I'm noticing that it's kind of like coming away here. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it's just really kind of picking up on bits where, I'm, I don't know, it's like it's combining with what I've already got on, which is moisturiser and SPF and being weird. It's just quite patchy. Hmm, unsure. Okay, I'm just gonna move on. Right, next thing. Am I in focus? Now that base is on, it's literally just a super, super light coverage skin tint. So now I'm going to pop on some concealer. So I got this one and it's the Revolution Pro Ultimate Radiant Under Eye Concealer. Now I think this is, well, I'm definite that this is meant to be a dupe for the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Now you can see that the packaging is like quite similar. Obviously this is gold, I don't really like the gold. And this is like the matte black, but therefore maybe a dupe. So I tried to kind of match my colour, but I'm unsure. I've got custard in this, which is actually kind of dark. So the Revolution one is £8 and the NARS one is £24 full price. So that's quite a difference. Very, very similar um, little... I used to think this was called a, a dofer. Then I realised it was doe foot, as in like the foot of a doe? I don't know. I don't know. Really nice. I think it's performing really, really similarly to the NARS one. I'm so close to running out of that one, so it's quite handy. I'd say this shade is a bit lighter than the custard, but like it still works for me, so that's good. So now I'm gonna go in. I'm a wee bit nervous for this step, to be honest. <laughs> so I saw a girl use this on TikTok, and it was when everyone was doing like recreations of the Madison Beer look. She used the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood contour wand, which I do have, and I really, really love it. Um, if you've not checked out my full face of Fro Fresh. 
my full face of Charlotte Tilbury makeup, then go and check it out because I used it in there and I was shook. But the girl that made this TikTok, I will try and find it and like include her link. She suggested using the Revolution Eye Bright Illuminating Under Eye Concealer but in like a deep colour for your contour if you're kind of like, like me. So I'm going to try it. She says you literally need the smallest amount. <laughs> So I'm nervous. So this is it here. Kind of similar mechanism to the Charlotte Tilbury one. So you just like thingy it up. I think. Four hours later. Oh, I see it. It's coming. Okay, I need, I need more. <laughs> Oh god, I'm scared. Maybe hard to blend out, so maybe I'll just like blend this side out and then see what it's like. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, that was scary, but it kind of worked. If you just go like bit by bit, then it works out. Let's try the other side. Oh, in here. Tigger's coming out. Sorted. Okay, I feel like it's not quite as easy as the Charlotte Tilbury one, but it definitely works. I'll pop some on the forehead. That'll do for my cream bronzer, cream contour. Oh, so this is eight pounds and the Charlotte Tilbury one's 29 pounds. I feel like they're not really, really that comparable. The Charlotte Tilbury one like blends out within a second and this is like a wee bit more stressful, but if you're not willing to spend 29 pounds, then this is a similar dupe, not the same, but similar. Um, and this is in the shade Deep Caramel. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with a bronzer. So I didn't buy a bronzer, but I have another palette from them which has a kind of bronzering, bronzering, which has like a bronzer shade in it. So I'm gonna try and go with that. So this is the, look at see this palette. I've had this for quite a few years and I do really enjoy it. This is the Revolution X Rachel Leary. She's another kind of um, YouTuber like influencer and I really like her. She seemed really lovely. This is the Goddess and the Go palette. It's like a face and eye eyeshadow palette. This is a deep bronzer so I literally need the tiniest but I think it's more of a contour. I don't know. I'm unsure how it will work out but let's just let's just go for it. I normally use this for my blush but I'm going to try it because I want to kind of put this in a very specific area. It is so dark and red. <laughs> Blend, blend, blend. Yeah, maybe that wasn't like the best idea in the world. Okay, I'm just gonna go with my Charlotte Tilbury one to kind of save the day. Okay, now that I've kind of bronzed up my skin to the label that I want, I'm gonna go back in with this one and just use that kind of shimmery bronzer. It's not for me to say. What is so shimmery? <laughs> I tend to use like an all matte bronzer. Oh, uh, so don't come in, don't come in. Don't come in, don't come in, the better. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. That is such a shimmery bronzer, but I think it's kind of nice. It's nice for like summer vibes, you know? Does the lighting suck in this video? I thought the natural light would be doing things for me, but I don't know if it is. I feel like it's just right in my dome. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with some liquid blush and I, this is kind of what got me wanting to make this order in the first place. So I'd seen, where did I see this? I can't remember. So this is the Super Dewy Liquid Blush. This is in the shade Flushing For You. Um, I'm not sure how pigmented these are, so I won't, I'm not gonna go like over the top. But I'm just gonna pop it straight on and then blend it out. It's like liquid, but it's quite a thick liquid, so let's just see how it goes. It's Did I just put on that on with the same brush that I used for my bronzer and it's really dark? I might have, but you know, it's fine. It's so fine. Uh, oh, I feel like I'm a hot mess in this video. Well, I literally am a hot mess because it's roasting outside and I am an idiot who's inside filming. I really like the colour of this. I'm gonna go in with one that's not um, got bronzer all over it. These are really nice and pigmented by the way, but they blend out. Lovely. She says. <laughs> she says. <laughs> oh. I might have went a wee bit overboard. But it shows that these are really nice and pigmented. This is only five pounds, which I think is so, so good. Like if you're wanting to kind of try out liquid blush and you've never tried it before. I like this. Do you know what is summer? The sun is shining. A little bit of blush gets you in the summer season. This is another part of that super dewy range and like it's kind of hard to sell because I have that like shimmery bronzer on underneath but I wouldn't say it's like super super dewy like the name suggests but it's pretty and it's pigmented and it's really really nice. My skin underneath this looks messed up by the way. Was it you? 
Was it you? Or was it the SPF? I think it was a combination of both and I'm not sure how you feel about it. I'm not really feeling the nicest, to be honest, but it's fine. This is all about this palette, so hopefully it will bring it all back for me. Okay, I'm gonna grab some highlight. With Soph's new collection, she had three separate highlights her palettes, and it was two shades in each palette. I already have her older highlight palette, which is this one. Because I still had this, I thought, I don't need the new one. So I'm just gonna go in with this, and my favourite shades are kind of like these three. This is really spin kind of colourful highlight, which is really popular. I don't really think it's that popular anymore. So I like these three. I'm gonna go in with this goldy one, because it's my fave. I've got this kind of like highlight brush. I'm just gonna pop that on. They are really, really nice highlights. They're pretty like blinding, you know? It's a slightly different formula for the new ones, so I obviously can't speak for that, but these are nice. Nice. I think I look crazy, by the way. Oh, I hope I don't. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go in with this powder that I've been talking about. Is this the wrong order? I don't really know. I don't know how to apply powder slash when to apply powder, so here we go. But I got this. This is the Peach Baking Powder by Art. Oh. <laughs> by I Heart Revolution. I watched a few reviews of this online and people liked it, so let's go in with it. I don't have any loose powder. I've only got the Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder. <laughs> don't know why I'm doing that. Yeah, I thought I would just try. Oh, it comes with a wee puff. Should I apply it using this or no? I was gonna maybe use a beauty blender and try it that way. But I really don't know what I'm doing here. So it just comes like this. And then I think you normally Put, pop it into the lids. I've seen people do that, so I'll try that. I'll go with that. And then... Mm, try Beauty Blender? Oh god, I don't know what I'm doing here. Let's just try it. <laughs> That's done something. <laughs> yeah, that looks fine. That looks nice. I feel like it will take me roughly 10 years to get through all this, so... This was only five pounds, so that's really good. Okay, so that is basically the base done. I'm now just gonna do my brows off camera and I'll be back in two seconds. I'm back. Back in the browser on. So I didn't watch Manny anyway. Manny anyway. Back in the browser done. No? Well, I was scared that I looked like a clown. I went into like my holder and it looked totally normal. I thought it was so, so intense, but it's really not at all. I think natural lighting just really heightens everything. So I promise I don't look like a clown. Okay, now I have so much crap around me. I am going to go in with the main event, which is the Soph X Revolution Super Spice Palette. Okay, so I had Soph's other, um, she's had three palettes with them so far. She had like the Sofax Revolution and then the Sofax Re X Revolution Extra Spice which looks like this. Again it's all messy because I've used it quite a lot um, and I really enjoyed this palette. It's kind of loads of neutrals but it's quite like autumnal the colours in it so I really liked it and this is the new one. So it's like obviously a lot brighter than the other one. Easy. There are a few of the same colours so Cookie Dough is still in it which is kind of one that I've used the most and brownies which I've actually not really used that much but I use it for more kind of like eyeshadow liner so that's quite good but yeah I'm a wee bit nervous because I don't really use that much colour but I'm just gonna try go for it I watched this video all kind of chatting about it and she said that the best thing to do with these kind of eyeshadows is use a eye base so I did purchase one I didn't own one before so I got one from Revolution and I think this is meant to be good so this is the ultimate eye base in the shade light and I'm just gonna pop this on with my fingers oh Oh yay, went in my top. Good, good. Yay. Oh no, I think I'm putting too much on. I look crazy. Right, so now I've got my base on. I'm a wee bit nervous. I don't know what to do. I think I'm going to try and do like a wee kind of like sunset eye. I have a picture up for inspiration. This is one that Kaylee MUA did, who's amazing. She's so, so good. And I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna try it out. If it fails, then it fails, you know? But if we don't try, then we'll never know. So I'm gonna go in with this like bright pink on the very, very outer corner. I've noticed that when I do my makeup, I have my mouth like this. So just don't even, just don't even.
It seems like these are nice and pigmented. I'm a bit scared, so I'm like, can I try to take my time? But it seems like they are nice. Now I'm gonna go in with this orange shade cocktail and just like stamp that in there. I feel like the red and the orange are very similar in the eye. Like they've kind of just blended right in together. I've messed up. I'm a bit stressed out here, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this yellow color, Sunshine. That's nice, that color. The orange is kind of letting me down a wee bit. Like, I feel like it's quite close in shade to the red and maybe that's why it's not like popping that much. I was just thinking that it would be really, really bright, you know? Bear in mind, I've never done a look like this before. I am not a makeup artist. <laughs> For sure. Okay, what do we think? I kind of feel like not the worst thing in the world, you know? I don't know. I don't know. I really want to try this lilac, but I don't know where. I could do like two different types of looks similar to this, but then I kind of want to also try the neutrals and like the shimmers, you know? Okay, so I'm going to go under with the purple colour. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Uh, and then I think I'll just go in with lockdown. I feel like if I go in blue and jeans, it might just get a bit weird. So let's go in with the shade lockdown. is really coming off this shade. That's a bit disappointing. I might pop like a little bit more eye base like under because then it'll stick to it a wee bit more. Mm, that's a wee bit disappointing. I was kind of really hoping that, that would be nice because I like it. Right I'm just gonna go with the purple for the whole lower lash line in that case which is still nice. Okay I am kind of impressed with that more so for myself that was like my first ever kind of rainbow eye look so I know it's definitely not perfect I know it's not Kaylee MUA level but it works for me the shades are nice I think the lilac let me down a wee bit because I really really wanted like a gorgeous lilac and the orange did as well slightly I don't know if it was just because I was trying it right beside the red and they were, they were actually quite similar but still really nice okay now I'm just gonna do like a kind of more neutral one on the other eye I'm kind of impressed with that though I'm not gonna lie hmm <laughs> kind of proud of myself you're probably watching it thinking Bitch, it's so basic. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the shade Cookie Dough. Nice. And I'll darken that up with the shade Cereal. On the other side, actually, I'm just gonna go in with the, there's like a kind of white one, and I think that'll kind of be quite nice around my brow bone. Just gonna make everything pop. It's quite good to have a white in a palette. Like, I don't think I've got any that have a white. I think I'll go in with brownies and kind of darken up even more and then I might use Night Owl for a widened liner. I'm not going to try a few of the shimmers so I'm going to go in with Not Gonna Lie. I'm just going to take it on my hand. I mean this looks really really nice. And I'm just going to put it in like the kind of middle of this one. Oh that's pretty. That is really nice. That's actually so nice. I've taken it too far over but oh well. It makes it look quite grungy with those colours. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Mirror Ball, like a wee bit closer. Okay, that's nice too. I think I prefer Not Gonna Lie. Not Gonna Lie. I think I prefer Not Gonna Lie. Right, now I'm going to try and do a wee winged liner with the shade Night Owl, like in a smoke out a wee bit. So wish me bloody luck by the way, because I'm scared. It's a really, really black black. Nice. That'll do. <laughs> I'm not gonna argue with that. I kind of just really rushed it and then it kind of worked out well. So, yep, I'll go with that. Right, so now I'm just gonna drag um, the shade Cereal under my eye. It's quite a kind of dark brown. Those shimmers have a wee bit of fallout, but like, it's not bad. Right, and then I'm also gonna take some of the Night Owl and just pop it under my eye. Cool. It's not perfect, but it'll do. I feel like a bit mental right now because I've got like two different kind of colour eyes on but I've tried to use most of them. I've obviously not used like these blues and greens right here. Yeah, all in all I'm really really happy with that. So now I'm just going to pop on some mascara and I'll be back in two seconds. One of my neighbours started more than one so I'm sorry. I hope you can hear me above it. I'll try and like decrease it when I'm editing but 
nothing I can do, it's a sunny day, what are you gonna do? Okay, that's some mascara on, I am like, I'm really pleased with this, I think this is a gorgeous palette, this is £12 altogether, the previous one was £10, I think it's the same number of shades, there are some differences, this is like now a kind of recyclable packaging and stuff like that, so it's a lot better for the environment, I think some of the formulas and stuff have really improved since her last collection, so yeah, I really enjoyed this, so if you're ever going to watch this, congratulations, the palette is absolutely gorgeous and you have made me do my first ever colourful eyeshadow look. So I am buzz. I think that was your goal, for people to play with colour and I just did. So I've got one kind of colourful eye, colourful fun eye and then one kind of like grungy, smoky eye, which took me literally about two minutes. <laughs> like it was so quick and easy to use and so easy to blend out and those shimmers are that, not gonna lie. It's like gonna be one of my favourites. It's so gorgeous, so I am obsessed. I'm now just gonna pop some highlighter in my inner corner and then we're almost done. So I'm just going back in with that shade that I used before. Oh, do you know what, actually? I might use that shade Dreamy on the colourful eye and see what it's like. Okay, it's kinda interesting. I mean, it might not look go perfectly well, but I just wanted to test it out. That's like a kinda two-tone, it's like lilac and kinda silvery. So it's really, really interesting. And then I'll just go back in with the highlighter that I used earlier on the other eye. Nice, okay, so. One of the last products I'm going to use is another thing from Soph's collection and it is a lip kit. So this is in the shade Candy Icing and within it you get a lip liner and a lip balm. Now I've tried a lip liner from Revolution before and I didn't really like it. I've got it here actually. It's, the, it's in the shade Greatest. It just says lip liner. But it's really, really dry and it's just, I don't know, it, it's really hard to go on. It's really hard to kind of work up. So I hope that this is a nicer formula. This is £8 and as I said, you get a lip balm and a lip liner. I like the idea of doing a lip balm, like I feel like that's quite unique. You normally get like the kind of lipstick and lip liner or, oh let's see it's the same formula. But it looks, it basically looks the same as one that I've got. So, I don't know. I hope it's still okay. Oh my god I can't get this out. <laughs> got it. Okay so I'm just gonna pop this on. This feels nice. It feels nice on first, first use. My other one might have just dried out, I don't know. So that's what it looks like kind of all over the lips. I really like that shade. I think that's really, really nice. But now I'm gonna go in with the lip balm. It's quite a nice package, isn't it? It's quite like um, fancy for a lip balm. As I said, I got the shade Candy Icing and then there's one more which I think is called Toffee Drizzle and it's like a deeper shade. Nice. Oh, it smells good. I have all of Soph's lipstick for her, from her previous collection. I actually got them all here just to show you. These are amazing. I rave about them literally all the time. I have all three shades. Fudge, syrup and cake. So it's like a pink, a kind of brownie pink and then a kind of dark brown. And they are just gorgeous and I love them. So if you're getting any of this stuff and you've not tried these, I recommend getting at least one of them. They're only £4 and honestly, you can't go wrong. That's nice. I'm happy with that. Okay, the last thing that I've got. I'm in such a good mood. I feel like I'm quite proud of myself for like going for it and actually trying to do something a bit different. Last is I got this. It's just a, a spray, like a hydrating kind of spray. I actually don't have anything like this. So I saw it. This was only five pounds so I just went and bought it. I feel like you might do this before you do mascara but oh well. The suspense is killing me. Oh it smells nice. Cranberry seed oil. It kind of smells like cranberries. Reminds me of a UTI. Okay that's like quite a lot that I put on so I'll just let that kind of soak in. Leo state of me. I'm covered in makeup. Okay, so that is everything for today. I'm happy. All in all, I'm happy with the purchases. One of the main points of this video was to test Soph's collection and of the eyeshadow, I am really, really pleased. I'm really, really happy with it all. I'm interested to try the other colours that I've not tried. There is a bit of patchiness here, but that happens to me with like all eyeshadow. Like when I try to kind of bring it out, I always get a blob of patchiness here. I don't know if it's just where my skin kind of changes. So it's just me, it's not the eyeshadow. My base isn't like the best, I'm not gonna lie. It's not the best, but I feel like I probably should have done like a more kind of full coverage base with these eyes, but you know, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna try this again without the SPF under it because I don't know if they just like reacted weirdly together. Really like this. It was really, really pigmented. It is five pounds, so fabulous. There's like five colors all together, so there should be a color for everyone. My first experience with powder, I don't really know. It's kind of hard to tell. I, I think it's meant to like blur, so I think it kind of blurred. I don't really know. Eye base, I'm assuming it was good because these showed up well in it. <laughs> I've never used an eye base before, but this one seemed nice. It blended out nicely and there was no bits where it kind of like stuck. I enjoyed the concealer. I think it is quite a good dupe for the Radiant Creamy Concealer. This I feel like wasn't the best dupe in the world for the Charlotte Tilbury. I think it does work, but like it takes a lot more effort than the Charlotte Tilbury one. Like it disappears in seconds. This one you do have to blend out a lot. So 
maybe not the best, but kind of did the trick. And yeah, the other thing would be just to be lip kit. I think it's a really good idea having the lip balm and the lip liner. So yeah, I like these. I am happy with the overall look. Yeah, I feel a bit crazy. I'm obsessed with these shimmers. Like I just love them. So yes, I'm very happy overall. Right, I'm gonna wrap up that video here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you got to the end, thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed this video and what kind of other type of content you'd like to see from me. Please give this video a like. If you did enjoy it, it really, really helps me out and it's good to know what kind of videos people enjoy. Right, well, I'm gonna head out and enjoy the sunshine because it's one of the rare days in Scotland that we get any sunshine. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.